What's up everybody? I know it has been a while since you've seen me, but you can see I'm a little bit leaner than the last time. My cut has been pretty successful, but today we're going to do a chest, biceps, and shoulder workout. We have about 75 to 90 minutes to get it in, so thank you for coming along with me and watching this video. Do this workout if you would like to at home. I'm not going to show you the entire workout because I need to get my lift in and I need to stay in the zone. As you get leaner, the one thing you'll realize is to keep on the muscle and to still look good, especially if you're natural it's hard so you got to make sure you're getting your workouts in you got to keep them intense and keep the weight up so let's get this video started again thank you for watching i appreciate you guys workout you got to start off with bench press quick tip if you have limited time to get your workout in always do the major lifts lifts that are gonna work multiple muscle groups at the same time that way you can get the best bang for your buck <laughs>
just want to say thanks for watching the video we're going to end it right here i'm still going to do a few more sets of a few different things but i don't want to catch it all on video and i want to make sure that i'm keeping this intense so i'm going to stop recording at this point because i'm shooting the video and doing the workouts at the same time for anybody who's wondering my current body weight i'm fluctuating between 172 to 175 pounds i'm five nine and a half yes i've been training my legs too you will see a leg video soon you will also see the leg results that i've had so far that's honestly the biggest part of my physique that's changed since the last time i cut down to this low i'm sitting just under 10 percent body fat for anybody who's going to be ignorant to the to how hard you work as you can see that's the end of the workout right there we just finished that 60 minutes but for anyone who's going to be ignorant and leave a comment about steroids or any type of illegal drug or any type of drugs for that matter at all sorry that you don't believe in hard work you don't believe in working hard and simply uh going to the gym every single day not missing your workouts not missing your meals i'm currently eating 22 to 2300 calories a day i can show you my fitness pal i am within two to three percent of my macros every single day and i have been for about the last six weeks prior to that i was kind of inconsistent but still at least five days a week i was hitting my macros my goal was to get under 10 percent this year i'm 28 years old so it took me longer than I thought it would. It took me quite a bit longer than I thought it would to get to this point. But after I got under 10% three weeks ago, I was like, okay, I'm not getting on stage. I'm not competing for anything. So let's maintain this. Let's see how much muscle I can put on at this body fat. And then we'll slowly bulk. I'm probably never going to do a huge bulk again. We'll have another video discussing why. But I just, I was 195 this winter. I'm 172 to 175 right now. There was no point for me to gain 20 pounds when after I stripped back down, I didn't add as much muscle as I thought. I have lost some strength. That happens when you're natural. That's going to happen no matter what. If you're going to lose weight, your leverages and everything are a little bit different with more body fat. For myself, I can say that I'm extremely excited about where my body is going. Uh, this I'm in this for life. So the fact of the matter is you're not going to get the results you want in bodybuilding in one year or fitness for that matter. You can get good results, great results. I'm happy with where I'm at. Every time I go to a beach or any place like that, I'm probably within the top five people there unless you're on like Muscle Beach or something. So that doesn't matter. And it's really about yourself. You gotta compare yourself to your old self. So take pictures, videos. Your weight is always gonna be secondary because there's days where I wake up at 175 then I, and I look better than the days that I'm 172. So. Forget the weight, that doesn't really matter. I just track it just to see, because I don't want to lose too much weight because that means I'm catabolizing my muscle. Anyways, I'm making this too long. I just want to say I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm gonna upload videos more consistently now. I have a workflow down now. I finally got a, a larger hard drive so I can actually edit my videos and put them on that hard drive and not slow down my iMac. But uh, appreciate you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment down below of what you would like to see next. I'll also do a physique update so you can see exactly how I'm looking right now. As of right now, uh, I think I look pretty decent. I think I can look a little bit better, but again, I'm not getting on stage, so it really doesn't matter if I see more veins day in and day out. It's just about being consistent, going up in strength, and uh, working hard. So uh, thanks again, everybody. I appreciate you. Go get your workout in.